hello guys welcome back to the software testing tips and tricks channel so in this video we will talk about this authentication so in this video we will try to cover this advanced scenarios so in advanced scenarios we can authenticate with the api request so i will show you how we can do that and uh, uh, the what are the variants available and uh, multiple signed in roles how to do that and uh, testing multiple roles together so most of things i will cover in this video so I have already created two videos in authentication. One is uh, <coughs> for this uh, authentication one with basic one and one with it moderate one. So this uh, you can check that videos in that I have explained how this basic shared account in all tests work and uh, also I uh, have one example that I have run the test and so that how it will authenticate all the tests. Also, I have uh, created one more video for this moderate one account for parallel worker. In that also, I have created this uh, fixer file and I have showed that how it will work for each worker. So you can check that out. So to, let's start uh, discussing this advanced scenarios now. So first thing is like authenticate with the API request. So how, how to do API authentication with uh, player at uh, I have already created video. So we all know like uh, we need to pass this request.post. So if your uh, website or your company has uh, uh, that uh, API created for login, then you can use that API here. So what you need to do is you can just uh, do, you can just uh, request your uh, API with username and password and you can store it in storage state. So it is the same what we are doing in the basic shared account in all this. So here also what we are doing is in setup file, we will log in manually using the UI. So we are passing step by step and login UI. Instead of this, just we need to do is uh, request the API and do login. Other steps are same. So you just uh, need to log in there. So here we what we have right. This request I just need to paste in the setup. So here like uh, in org setup.ts, I just need to paste uh, this request and I need to pass my username, password and the URL of that. Uh, your uh, website uh, API request that you have created also if authentication is required you need to pass that auth token and all so once you get the response you can store it in the this auth file and you can use uh, all the test can use that so for that you need to in playwright.config file you need to add that That's what we need what we used to add in this basic one so just we need to add this setup project it is same like you don't need to change anything here you just need to copy paste this and add it for chrome and firefox this set up project inside the project step so here like inside the project step uh, here you can copy and paste that and it will work so this is how this basic one will work with the api request So the uh, benefit of this like your web application supports authentication via API that is easier faster than interacting with the app UI. So it is faster than UI and also it is more reliable and most of the companies use this one only because it is more reliable and secure as well. <coughs> so other alternative is like worker in fixer. So in uh, previous video where uh, we have done this moderate one account for parallel worker. So in that also you just need to. Uh, replace these steps where we are doing the login so here we are performing the login using the ui instead of that we need to call the api call and once api call is done you need to store the responses so if you go here and you can see like uh, fixture.ts so here we are doing this login so instead of that uh, we need to do that uh, api request one and uh, this request we need to store in the response so here like you can you are saying like uh, multiple signed in roles with uh, in previous this one right so here we are doing the same authentication request and this context.post and it's, uh, we are storing that and so this will work for all the workers so if you have different username and passwords if for each worker you can call with the one one username and one one password and each worker will get a separate authentication so this is how it will work so after that uh, we need to learn is like multiple signed in roles 
so multiple sand in roles means like uh, sometimes uh, in your website you have more than two roles right if user has the uh, uh, this uh, multiple roles for example admin and user so you can handle that using the playwright so what two rules uh, roles are one is like uh, admin and one is like user so you can have setup for both like in this setup file only what do setup you can create two setup here one is for uh, you can log in with the user and in other one you can log in with admin so it will uh, you will get two uh, setup files uh, setup here and in both setup you can use like uh, different different uh, login uh, so here like admin.json you can create in dot auth folder and here you can create user.json so in user.json the passwords and uh, session login session will be stored for user and in admin session uh, the session will be stored for admin now in test uh, file what you can do is like a test.use method you can use and you can uh, pass like which storage state you want to use for particular test so you can uh, uh, set up this describe for uh, each and in that you can mention like for this test i want to use this admin.json and for this test i want to do user.json so it will use that so you just need to mention it test.use in your spec file so if you go to here spec file here you can mention like which authentication you want to use so you can put uh, before test so for example here i want to use admin.json so you can put admin.json for this one i want to use uh, user.json you can put user.json and uh, to work it in sync you can use test.describe so that it will make sure like for that block only it is used uh, this user.json so like this so you can try like that so it will be more helpful and we are using like that only so this is how you can use this uh, multiple signed in roles now testing multiple roles together so <clears throat> sometimes what happens is in one test only you you want to log in with user and after that you want to log in with uh, uh, admin or in one tab you want to log in with admin and another tab you want to log in as a user so that you can do using the context so what you can do is like whenever you are creating the context you need to create one admin context and one user context so when you are doing this admin context just while in browser.next context you are creating that time you need to pass the storage state for admin.json so admin auth will be passed here and it will this context will now use admin auth and user.context you need to pass user.json so in that uh, user's uh, credentials uh, login session will pass and it this now user context page user page it will always use user's credentials so whatever the performance now action you will perform uh, if you are performing action on user page and uh, it will log in as user page and if you are uh, performing action on admin page then it will be logged in as admin page so in two tabs you want to see is like what is happening when you admin changes something user side what is happening or user changes something admin side what is happening so those things you can do using this one so now it is same like testing multiple roles with page object model so i have already created one video for page object model as well so if you are new you can watch that so here uh, like uh, they are just showing us uh, like how you can use this together testing multiple roles in page object model so this is really easy like you are creating two class one is admin class and uh, other is user class so in admin class you are putting the locator for the admin and user class you are putting locator for the user and whenever you are writing the test makes your sure like uh, you are passing again in context you are passing the admin and uh, user so like a page file will uh, stay like that only separate but in test file you pass the context so it will be separated so this is how you can use that now in spec file you can directly put like await expect admin dot getting to have text welcome admin so whenever you are logging with your admin page you should have a welcome login and when you do user page you have welcome user so this both uh, uh, method will be exported here and uh, you can directly it will create that so this is how it will work on page object model this is good example so if you know like how page object model is working uh, in the playwright then it will be easy to get from here but if you still have doubt with uh, regarding your project then you can uh, show me or i will help in the comments 
so this is how we are also using in the uh, company but that i can't show because of the confidential information and i couldn't get uh, bigger in a project that have this uh, double login for testing right if you have such website you can push uh, put here i will try to create video on that session storage is not supported properly using the playwright so playwright does not provide api to person session storage so what you can do is like you have to store that and you can use same session every time so you just can copy paste this code and you can your your session here but uh, uh, we recommend like not to use that currently and if you are using that uh, using cookies or local storage then it is best but if you need to use that then you can take this example and i haven't used personally like how it will work so i can't uh, give more information on that and uh, avoid authentication in some case so that we already saw in the first video with uh, basic authentication only you need to pass is like uh, cookie and origins you need to make it null so that it won't uh, use uh, whatever the session it has stored previously and it will start with uh, without login so sometimes what happens you have 10 tests 5 tests you want with login and 5 you don't want with login and if you are using this basic authentication that every time all the tests will automatically get login so for that like you can use that like test.use cookie null origin null and it will not be authenticated so this is how it will work so these are the three videos i have created for authentication and i have tried to cover most of the things in two videos i have showed like practically running the uh, test with authentication so that will i think help so please watch all three video uh, and if you have still any doubt feel free to ask in the comment section Please subscribe this channel and share it to your few friends and, and social media links are in the description. Follow it for fun. Thank you.